Biomimetic synthesis is an area of organic chemical synthesis that is specifically biologically inspired, so named in 1917 by the English organic chemist and Nobel laureate Sir Robert Robinson. The term encompasses both the testing of a biogenetic hypothesis conjectured course of a biosynthesis in nature through execution of a series of reactions designed to parallel the proposed biosynthesis, as well as programs of study where a synthetic reaction or reactions aimed at a desired synthetic goal are designed to mimic a one or more known enzyme -itch transformations of an established biosynthetic pathway. The earliest generally cited example of a biomimetic synthesis is Robinson's organic synthesis of the alkaloid troponone. A more recent example is E.J. Corey's carbenium-mediated cyclization of an engineered linear polyene to provide a tetracyclic steroid ring system, which built upon studies of cationic cyclizations of linear polyenes by the Albert Eschenmoser and Gilbert Stork, and the extensive studies of the W.S. Johnson to define the requirements to initiate and terminate the cyclization, and to stabilize the cationic carbenium group during the cyclization as nature accomplishes via enzymes during biosynthesis of steroids such as cholesterol. In relation to the second definition, synthetic organic or inorganic catalysts applied to accomplish a chemical transformation accomplished in nature by a biocatalyst e.g., a purely protonaceous catalyst, a metal or other cofactor bound to an enzyme, or a ribozyme can be said to be accomplishing a biomimetic synthesis, where design and characterization of such catalytic systems has been termed biomimetic chemistry. Topic. Synthesis of proto-daphnophylene Proto-daphnophylene is a precursor in the biosynthesis of a family of alkaloids found in Daphnophyllum macropodum. It is of interest due to its complex molecular structure making it a challenging target for conventional organic synthesis methods due to the fused ring structure and the spirocarbon center. Based on a proposed biosynthesis pathway of proto-daphnophylene from squalene, Clayton Heathcock and co-workers developed a remarkably elegant and short total synthesis of proto-daphnophylene from simple starting materials. This is an example of how biomimetic synthesis can simplify the total synthesis of a complex natural product. The key step in Heathcock's synthetic route involves a cyclization of acyclic dialdehydes A or B to form proto-daphnophylene. Both dialdehydes A or B have carbon skeletons analogous to squalene and can be synthesized from simple starting materials. Treating A or B with a sequence of simple reagents containing potassium hydroxide, ammonia, and acetic acid led to the formation of proto-daphnophylene. Six sigma bonds and five rings were formed in this remarkable step. It was proposed in the original report that hydroxyl dihydropyran intermediate C was first formed when the dialdehyde starting material A was treated with potassium hydroxide. A2 as a 1,3-dene intermediate D was generated from the reaction of intermediate C with ammonia. An acid catalyzed Diels Alder reaction formed intermediate E, which was further converted to the final product under the reaction conditions. Examples of biomimetic syntheses in Wikipedia Carpenone, via the Chapman approach. Spiratory prostatin B, via the Gainson approach Endiandric acid, C biomimetic total synthesis, via Nicolau approach <laughs> <laughs> Further literature examples of biomimetic syntheses 
Merck synthesis of Nicoteprosin type C nor D homosteroids, e.g., structural, cleaved, contracted, and expanded rings, CECO, nor, and homosteroids, via C13 atom migration. Heathcock synthesis of squalene derived daphnophylene type alkaloids, e.g., daphnophilum, via tetra pentacyclization cascades. <laughs>